There's an old saying that the show must go on. An actor gets sick, a musician breaks an arm, the set falls down, whatever it might be, the number one rule is always the show must go on. That is, until it can't. The arts are so critical for our humanity, and right now we need them more than ever. Um, and we're unable to really provide them for people when they need them the most. Sarah Phoenix is the artistic director of Theater Tulsa, just one of the many local arts organizations impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now we have three shows in various stages of production, one that opened and closed just last weekend after one performance, and classes with kids, and all of that is on hold. After Mayor G.T. Bynum took the CDC guidelines and restricted gatherings of 50 people or more in city facilities, which the Tulsa Performing Arts Center still is, even though it's privately owned. We rely on the ticket sales for the, of those productions to recoup those costs. And that's just a handful of productions with just one local company. There are now dozens of performances of concerts, ballets, plays, even Broadway tours in jeopardy of not happening on time. Our calendar is a living, breathing thing that we work three, four, five years out. The longer we're closed, the more difficult it will be to find dates to make these shows up. Shows like a sold out Tulsa Symphony concert of Star Wars that's been postponed. Tulsa PAC CEO Mark Fry says they're looking at other available dates for the 2400 ticket holders. Part of it's going to be dictated by uh, like a Broadway touring schedule if their schedule can mesh with what our open dates are. But these seats will stay empty and this stage will remain bare for who knows how long. Right now it's like nailing jello to a wall because we just don't know when we're going to be back open for business. And it's not just taking a financial and logistical toll on the arts community. As artists, we pour our heart and our soul into what we're working on and we um, being able to share that with the community is one of the huge rewards of what we do. And so to watch a cast or a group of kids who are working on something have that taken away from them, it's devastating. And as someone who's actively involved in several of those productions that are in limbo right now and is a part of this community, I can tell you the more the public heeds the warnings of officials, the sooner the arts can thrive once again. And Fry also says that if you do have a ticket to an event that was postponed and the alternative date doesn't work for you, the PAC is going to work with you on getting that taken care of. Travis Guillory, 2 Works For You.